it, Pablo Gunnar here for a Nerdy Fitness Long, and I am going to be talking about a couple things that you may or may not know about, which is, I want to talk, get some things off my chest, which is, if you feel like you're one of those people that is like, oh, I don't eat much, I don't eat anything, so that why am I overweight, or how come I can't lose weight? Well, that's exactly why you can't lose weight. What you're doing is you're putting your body into starvation mode. And so when you do that, your your body stores anything that you put into it. It knows it's not going to be a while since the next time you eat. So it's going, I'm going to store this food because I know it's going to be a long time before I eat. And unfortunately, what happens is it becomes, it just becomes fat because it just stores it and then it's boom, that's it, you know? Um, yeah, it, some of it does get used up um, in the process over time, but for the most part, it just gets stored and becomes fat. So that, and if you're one of those people that thinks like, I mean, I guess it's up to you, but if you want to work yourself out so hardcore that you throw up or that you're sick, I just think that's, I think that's stupid and that's really bad for you because you put body, you put food into you and you know, like me, if I, if I eat a couple hours before I work out and then I just work out so hard that I puke, I'm puking up all that food, all that nutrients, all that protein, all those things that I, my body needs, I just ruin it now. So it, it's, you have to find, you know, it's, it's, every, it's, everything is about what you're going for. It's like, you know what, if you just, Really, in diet is the most important thing. That's the easiest and best way that you're gonna lose weight if that's what you're going for, you know? So, if that's what you wanna do, then that's what you should do. Snack throughout the day instead of big meals. That's what you wanna do. If you're weightlifting, you're gonna wanna put, you're gonna need protein in your diet and you're gonna need a lot more calories. And I know because I can tell because I'm eating more or less the same way I did when I was lifting weights and I can tell that I'm not really losing any weight even though I'm just doing cardio and abs so which doesn't make sense to me I go like why am I not losing more weight well because my body uses everything that I put inside me so when I'm lifting you know it goes to my muscles whereas it's like hey I'm not I'm not I'm not lifting weights I'm not you know doing that stuff so it's it's not being used up it doesn't need to be you know so that's the unfortunate part of that, but like I said, once I start doing that stuff, I think I'll start losing more weight. So, now that we got that all out of the way, I'll go ahead and talk about the huge. What I ate. So, I didn't have a sandwich yesterday. I thought about making a sandwich, but I was, I was running late. So, I came into work early to work out. I was freaking exhausted. I was so tired. Like. I did not want to get up and honestly I could have slept for at least another 15, 30 minutes and I would have been fine but I don't know why I set my alarm as early as I did. So anyways, yeah, it was just, you know, one of those where you wake up and you're like, no, I don't want to do this. So yeah, yeah, it was, it was annoying. So anyways. Yeah, so I, you know, I was all sluggish and everything like that because I was tired. And uh, when I got to work, I was like, okay, I guess I was like, I don't even know what to do. I'm all messed up. So I did the bike. I did the bike, and I was slow on the bike. I was sluggish on the bike, uh, you know. But I also part of it is that I was making it hard for myself. So you know, doing the arm circles and the the jabs, the uppercuts, the you know hooks in between the arm circles you know doing those for a minute do each workout for a minute straight and then at every point one you know every time a point went up I turned it up the resistance and then so this time though once I got to the highest resistance I only turned it down every minute so it took me a lot longer to get back down to one in fact I didn't even get down to one because my time was up by the time I got down to one so, but because I was doing all of that for so long, I did, I, I did the, uh, probably not the worst that I've done, uh, but it was like, a, it was like a medium because 
I was doing all those workouts and like I, I was I was you know a little bit I was feeling the, my arms were already a little bit tired from my from my uh, upper body cardio workout the other day so that was that made it a little rough and and just uh, in general so it's but I think I got like seven point oh man what did I get like seven point thirty nine or something like that for uh, for 30 minutes, like I said, doing it that way with going down a minute and like I said, doing each, uh, arm workout a minute with it. So yeah, um, and then I was really hungry. I had protein bar. I had a good portion of protein bar. And then, what did I have? I, oh yeah, I had a fruit cup. It was the fruit cup from Dion's, another one the wife got me a few. So I had the fruit cup. I ate that and then I was I was sated I was pretty good for a good while in fact even when I ate I was like I'm not that hungry that I need to eat but I was like I know that I need protein I know my body needs protein from the bike ride as well as I'm going to need it for the upcoming workout that I do whatever which one I choose so <clears throat> so that's uh, that was you know, I had the salmon burger and that's all I had. I packed green beans, but I was like, you know what? I'll just save green beans for breakfast and that's, and that's what I'll do. So, and that's, that is what I did. I was hungry around 6.30. So I was like, okay, I'll whip out some green beans, warm them up. And they're like some giant green beans. And uh, I made them with a big old thing of water. So they were pretty, uh, they were pretty moist. They were pretty, uh, you know, hydrate I don't know they were they were you know had a lot of water in them I guess um so yeah and uh and butter too I had butter with it and salted it and stuff it was it was fantastic it was delicious so that's what I had and of course you know stayed hydrated throughout the night best I could I oh yeah that's the other thing I had I had some of those granola protein gr chocolate chocolate granola uh grain st stuff uh, so yeah, I had that towards the beginning because I didn't have a chance to, to eat my fruit for a while because I was busy. But yeah, so uh, when I got off, I was like, man, I don't know what I should do. Should I run outside, you know, or should I do a, should I do one of my workouts inside? And I was like trying to calculate it. I miscalculated. I ended up running. I did run at the track. I only did four laps, uh, which was way too easy. I was like, man, that was way too easy. Uh, my time wasn't the wasn't the best uh, I know I got like under eight minutes and it was above seven minutes but I don't know exactly because I just was like 1804 or something um, 1810 when I started running and then around um, I want to say like 24 when I finished I don't know so yeah, uh, and now I'm on my way to court to go get rid of that ticket to just show my proof of insurance in uh, in Santa Fe, and that's what I'm uh, heading up to do now. And then I will be editing, finish editing the comic cast. Hopefully, if I have enough time, if it doesn't take too long. So uh, that's that's what's up. And I also had I oh yeah I had, I had a peach too after my run, and then and oh yeah and a cheese stick. I had a cheese stick. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I've had. Um, oh, I finished Supergirl and it was fantastic. I was like, wow, I was really impressed with it. It was a little cheesy, but it was still pretty solid. I like how it's like a go, uh, you know, woman power, or girl power, whatever. I love it. It's fantastic. You know, it's just a wonderful show. Uh, a lot better than I expected it to be, especially with the CW. So... Yeah, that one had a really awesome finale. Uh, I was pretty impressed with it. So yeah, um, and then uh, yeah, I think uh, that's that's pretty much it. I was I watched some Conan as well. Uh, what he was up to for the San Diego Comic Con and stuff like that. So which we have a which we have a podcast up. JD and I did a podcast. If you want to find out all about the San Diego Comic Con, all the good stuff, you know, so you can hear about all the things, and then you can look them up yourself on YouTube. I didn't post links because I'm just like, I'm not going to embed these or post these. I could. If people want it, I'll do it. You know, but I'm just saying, like, that's, it's, you could look it up for yourself. Um, 
whatever works. So yeah, uh, and also just another podcast that I did with uh, Slay J, um, where we talked about Trump and we talked about uh, what else? We talked about Chester Bennington and just like you know, Azima. We talked about like just suicide musicians and just like I don't know how people are and stuff. It, it was really good. It's, it's you know in depth, darker, more serious and stuff than any of the other podcasts. And uh, I also did a podcast too with Tone Bone where he talked about a uh, shoujo, uh, which is like a slice of life show that is, it, it, it's an anime, but it's a live action. I mean, it's not an anime. It's a, it's a manga, I think, and it's a live action show that's in Japanese and stuff. And then I reviewed, I reviewed Glow and I said that the, one of the main guys was Hank Azaria and I was wrong, like straight up. It's actually Mark Marin. I just, those guys are the same to me. I don't know why, they just look the same to me, but. Uh, and uh, and I also reviewed Arrow Season 5 on there, so if you wanna check that out too, it's all of our stuff out is at TNTM The Show, website, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Tumblr, all that. And it's all different stuff I post on all of it. The hub though is probably Twitter where everything shows up on on Twitter, so yeah. Uh, so that's where you check out all, all the nerdy stuff, and of course, the YouTube. So that's it for me now. Uh, I will say this though, is what is your, who's your favorite superhero of all time? Just period. Of course, I mean, you, you ought to know mine. I'm wearing it. I wear it all the time, right? So patriotic, you know, I mean, just a good heart, good soul, you know, and, uh, and he's there to, to help the fellow soldiers and stuff. So yeah, it's great, fantastic, love him. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I want to know what your favorite superheroes. So yeah, uh, stay nerdy, planet Earth, and uh, stay fit, stay healthy, love and peace.